to subtle breakthroughs. This eleventh day of our prayer breakthrough journey, we will come to the Lord and pray against all affliction. We will claim God's word from the book of Nahum 1, 12 and 13, which says, Thus says the Lord, Though they are safe, and likewise many, yet in this manner they will be cut down when he passes through. Though I have afflicted you, I will afflict you no more. For now, I will break of his yoke from you and burst your bonds apart. Let us pray. Father in heaven, thank you for loving us even while we were still sinners. And thank you that your love taught us to love you in return. Thank you for always fighting on our side. Thank you also for refining us, purifying us, and testing us in the furnace of affliction. We acknowledge that you know what is best for us. We acknowledge you as our Lord, and we ask that you purify us continually and confirm us to the likeness and image of your Son, Jesus Christ. Your word says that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against the enemy's forces of darkness. And so thank you, Lord Jesus, for you have already overcome every power of the wicked one and rendered him ineffective through death and resurrection. We then plead the blood of Jesus over our situation. Father, allow the power of your Holy Spirit to cover every aspect of our situations so we can break through all barriers and so we can rise up above our circumstances. We also ask that you please bring forth your perfect will in these situations, the perfect peace and victory that Jesus died and shed his blood to obtain. Thank you, Father, for fighting for us again. And we ask you that you obliterate the attack and forces of the enemies of every part of our lives. In Jesus' name. We pray that you break the enemy's yoke and influence of us. We pray that you burst apart every chain and bond that is holding us right now, today. We pray that you please do all these things now, today, for that is what Nahum 1, 12 and 13 says you will do. Thank you, God, that there will be no more affliction in our lives. Thank you for not allowing us to be afflicted anymore. We then ask that you please bring everything about us into perfect peace and shalom, into a state of total wholeness and unity with you and your will, inside and out, with nothing missing and nothing broken. Thank you for all these things. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you.